When it comes to preparing for his new role as Randolph's head of school, there is a lot Adam Dubay is looking forward to. But one thing really stands out. The intention that goes into building community here, it's so phenomenal. I'm just excited to be a, a part of that community and um, you know, j just joining with everybody. Dubay has been participating from afar and is impressed with what he's observed. When I look at how successfully Randolph has moved to e-learning this this spring and with really little time to prep for that. I was at the National Association Conference with uh, Jerry and Linda and we were we were talking about this right in February, you know, kind of at the beginning of this pandemic and I remember being out to dinner with them and talking about it like, well, this is, I mean, I can't imagine that schools are going to have to do this, that we're going to have to cancel and then like just everything one after another kept happening. Um, and very, very rapidly. Even still, Randolph adopting the motto resilient, resourceful, and rallying together rose to the challenge. When you see what the, the, the survey feedback from parents and um, you know, I've been following on social media and, and following on the weekly videos that have been going out and the daily communications that have been going out as well. And despite having to move to this distance learning model, I think that every effort has been made to try to maintain connection in that community, um, even in this distance learning model. Based on his involvement thus far, Dubay is approaching the coming weeks with confidence. And now that we have even more time to plan, to put the technology pieces in place, to provide additional support and training for teachers, additional support and training for students. I'm really optimistic about what the fall can look like and um, how successfully we can make that transition. DeBay offers this to faculty and staff, students and families who he's well aware want clarity and assurance about the next school year. There's a planning committee that's working already and putting together plans for next year. Knowing that the school is really built on connection, um, the preference is to try to do as much on campus as we possibly can. Obviously, you know, we want to make sure that it's safe, that we're following guidelines, that you know, we're providing as safe of an experience as we possibly can. But I think that's the question that we're looking at is, you know, how can we provide that safe on-campus experience for students? And then if necessary, how can we move back into an e-learning model or some type of hybrid model where there's some e-learning and there's some on-campus learning doing that in a way that's safe but the great thing is is that there are a lot of opportunities and a lot of resources. 